The art of whisky making is to many of us in Scotland still a mystery. You must be patient. It's only through years will we nurture the spirit, but you have to give it time. When we're maturing some of our aged Dalmores, they won't be at the top of the rack. They'll be at the bottom, nearest the ground. The dampness will be there. During the winter months, it can be deadly cold, but for our whiskies, it's the perfect environment. I watched the development. First year, second year, third year, even fourth year, even fifth year, it's still a baby. It still needs to be nurtured, and it's nurtured by Mother Nature and the wood. I put it into port, Madeira, Masala, Cabernet Sauvignon, small batch bourbon, and Methuselah sherry. And then thought, why don't I combine them together? And eventually I came up with a formulation that I thought really reflected the true style of this whiskey. And I noticed, like the many finishes that I've done over the years, that it took on a, a different meaning. Whiskey is a person that's going to develop in the same way as an individual. But it's how you look after that person, not just for a few years, but all the time that was in the warehouse. And when it develops and comes out, you really are immensely proud of it. The same as what you look back in your children and say, look what they did, look where they are now. Well, that's because I looked after them. Well, you've got to look after the whiskey in exactly the same way. We must give the whiskey time. That's what it's all about. <laughs>